Hey, Greg from John 316 Productions. I uh, just felt inspired to create this video in regards to something that has been on my heart and uh, something that I felt uh, was uh, needed to get out in regards specifically to uh, the people of the world, the lost, uh, the people who think that God does not exist, that uh, he's just a figment of our imagination, one people who cannot see because the blindfolds have been placed on their eyes, their spiritual eyes. And in the book of John, John 3, 5, specifically, it talks, it speaks of Nicodemus being told that uh, by Jesus that he needs to be born again or you will not see the kingdom of God. And so what he really is saying here is that your spirit needs to be awakened. It needs to be shaken to hear the word and receive it. And the scriptures say, consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. Scriptures say that the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. Romans 1 specifically addresses the fact that you already know him. You just need to be wakened to understanding who he really is. You have to be willing to listen. It's my heartfelt plea and message to you to receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, to understand who he really is. And I'm going to share that gospel with you in just one moment, but we'll, just to show you in scripture, Romans 1 verse 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. And here, verse 21, Because that, when they know God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. So let's underline, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. So here it is clearly stating that you already know him. You already have a piece of his spirit because we were created from him, by him. The very one who wants you to come back unto him. But we have an enemy, a spiritual enemy that is creating weeds sprouting up throughout the earth and trying to make it so that you don't get to know him. But when you seek him out, when you seek God out earnestly with all your heart, you will have the desire to get to know him and everything else will come after that. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. Coming from 1 Corinthians verse 3, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Now, Romans 10, 9 says, Now, if you shall confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart men believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Praise the Lord. Give your, give your life over to Jesus today. Confess your sins. Confess that you're, you're not perfect, that you want to get to know him. Turn away, repent from your sins, and give your life over to the Lord. He knows you already. And according to the scriptures, you know him you just need to be awakened. Your spirit needs to be awakened. All people, all walks of life, everyone is welcome.